Welcome, they call me Big Hurt, and on this channel you will see basic motorcycle install videos, wind therapy, vlogging, just our motorcycle life, enjoying each other's company and meeting new people and going to new places. My adventurous side exploring life with my not so adventurous wife, but we enjoy doing things together and it's a match made in heaven. All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's your guy here, Herc. Another episode here on Big Herc 80. Out today, it's a pretty day. Let me see. It's actually 80 degrees, but it actually don't feel that bad. It feels like it's in the 70s. But anyway, got the motorcycle out, decided to get out and ride. As you can see, about the Foothills Parkway. It's my go-to. It's in my backyard. But today is different. I am excited and nervous at the same time as a parent. But what I got is, of course, I'm on my Harley. But I got my son Smalls, and he is on his Ninja 500. And we're going to hit Foothills Parkway. He's been practicing. He's been riding. We're going to go at an easy pace. He said, I thought he had been up here, at least in the car. He's never been up here. So we are. We're going to go at an easy pace. We ain't gonna go through here wide open. We're gonna go take it easy, especially for it being his first time being up here at all. We're just gonna ride and cruise. We're gonna take y'all along for the ride, and then I will get his thoughts when we get up to the missing link and let y'all tell you exactly how he feel, felt about it. All right, we're gonna load up and get started. All right, everybody, here we go. You can see him back there. Like I said, we're going to take it easy. He's never been up here before. We're going to go to the missing link at least. And we're just going to cruise. I told him earlier to always ride his ride, ride at his pace. And that's, that's part of it. I mean, but this right here, I'm not going to lie. I'm excited. I've been riding with him a little bit today. He's been doing he's been doing well. But I'm also nervous at the same time. That's just part of, I guess, being a parent. You always going to worry. But I know the good Lord got us. He watches over us. And we good. Oh man, look at that C10 square body. Man, that's nice. This is just a nice relaxing ride. This is where I come a lot and ride anyway. Uh, you got the mountains over there, you got the views, and today it shouldn't be too many people out because it is Friday. Friday, folks are still at work, so it won't be as bad as if we would have come up here Saturday or something. And I don't believe there's any event going on and pigeon forward, which helps matters too. This motorcycle can do a lot better in these curves than this Harley. But I am going, like I said, take it easy because he is a beginner rider. But so far, so good. And like I said, we rode earlier today and man, he actually, there was a couple of things that I gave him advice on to help him. It wasn't anything that he was really doing wrong, but it was stuff that would just help. So he listened to him, he made adjustments, and been doing good. But it does feel different when you're riding with your kids. I never thought my boys, I always had motorcycles, but I never thought my boys would actually probably get into motorcycles. He's the first one. Now the oldest one is actually talking about he might want one, so we'll see. Now, he started with a sport bike, but that's usually how everything goes. My first bike was a ZX-9, and then I went to the Boosa. Now I'm on a Harley. So, 
he used to he messed with me when he first got it. Like, hey, you gonna ride with me? He said because I know how you Harley guys are. I said, man, that's just a that's a stereotype. That's a misconception. Harley people ride with anybody. Now you do have some that might not, but I ride with anybody. I don't care what kind of bike you got. I don't care if you got two wheels, three wheels, and like some of them I've seen, uh, four wheels. Now I don't know anybody got one, but hey, I get out with the slingshots, I get out with the uh, Vanderhaals. But it's just about getting out on the open road. But yeah, but I told him, I said, shoot, yeah, I ride with you. I said, but I want you to practice, get some seat time in, and when our schedules align, cause we both work full-time jobs, when our schedules align, we'll get out and ride. Now he joked about, I ain't gonna say joke, but I took it as a joke. He joked about getting on a highway and actually riding and putting some miles on it. Like hitting the highway. And I was like, son, uh, don't believe you'll be doing that. He was like, why's that? I was like, uh, because riding a sport bike across state lines, Man, I know you're young, but it ain't gonna be comfortable. I think there's a view, yep, view right there. I said, it ain't gonna be comfortable. So, uh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We might take them, uh, me and the missus might take them, let them get down to Chattanooga and just ride. See, that's about an hour and a half from us. Not too bad. See so yeah, ya, just ride and uh, let them get some saddle time in. But by the time we get up here and back, no, by the time we get up here, he will be ready for his first service. So that right there tells me how much he's been riding and practicing. He's put, let's see, he's had to bite, I don't know. I know it ain't been three months, I don't think. So he's put a thousand miles on it in three months. Man, I know some people don't put a thousand miles on the motorcycle in a year. And I'm not going that much slower than normal when I come to, especially the cruise. At first I kept thinking, man, we're gonna run about 35. Well shoot, he was doing so good, I actually sped it up a little bit. Now with these hard turns and curves like this, I am going to slow way down for him. Just because it's his first time. I don't know where his comfort level is. I don't know where his skill level is. But he's doing good because we took that one at 40. I remember one time I came up here and saw a daggone black fire on the side of the road. Luckily, it was going down in the woods and not coming out of the woods. So it was trying to get away from us anyway. Hey everyone. As you can see, I've had to adjust the camera a few times, capturing my son behind me. Instead of keep doing that, I'm gonna focus on riding. So he's not gonna be in too much more of the video. I think I got a remedy for it. Shout out to Riding the Ranger. He put up an Amazon link. I'm actually gonna try out the camera mount and see how it works. But the rest of this video is just gonna be us riding through foothills. I am going to have him talk at the end and kind of, not so much an interview, but we'll get him on camera explaining how he felt riding foothills for the first time. Yep. Keep trying to look back, or I need to ride my ride, but I keep trying to look back or keep an eye on him. But he's doing good. And with that green bike, it's hard not to see him in the mirror. Green bike and that green helmet. Really, I see the helmet more than I do the bike.
and the missus has already called and I thought she might have seen where we was. She was like, I'm just gonna check on y'all. I said, well, we about to tackle something new. She said, don't tell me. I said, it ain't nothing bad. And I would hope she wouldn't think I was gonna take them some word to word. I would put them in a, a dangerous situation. And I said, no, nah, we just gonna hit up foothills. We just gonna hit up foothills. First time. Pretty day. Father and son time. Foothills is, not, I ain't gonna say known for, but look at that right there. Never get tired of coming up here. Right, we are almost up here to where we gonna stop. Okay, we just got up here to the pull off we always come to anyway. I'm gonna get him on camera and let him tell you how he actually feels. It's his first time riding any part of Foothills, not only on a motorcycle, but also just first time being up here, period. So, what, what's your thoughts? So, at first, I'm, I love it. I actually love it. So. <laughs> I thought I was going to crash because I just kept looking over at the view. You know yeah, me. You, yeah. You I can't like do to. That. Don't put that in there. No, I said you can't do that. You shouldn't do that. Oh, like, well, you can look real quick, but yeah. Yeah, I just kept looking at the view. It One, the view's awesome. The drive is amazing. I never, like, leaned my bike that much. Um, Like, on the road. Oh, you haven't leaned it that no, much. No, I haven't. Oh, leaned my, got I never leaned my you. bike that much. Got so that you. was really fun to do. Um, yeah, the entire ride was awesome. Um, <laughs> and I know we got more to go because we what we, but yeah, it was it was a fun, it was a fun drive. I, I, <laughs> yeah, I love it. All right, now y'all heard y'all heard that excitement, but now let me just show you this view. Like I said, foothills, man, I love that I live in East Tennessee. Love that I'm able to just get out and within 30 minutes be in the mountains. And then it's such a beautiful day today. There's not no clouds, it's just clear. Well, it is cloud, but it's clear. So here we go. I'm walking down here to get that right there. It don't get no better.
All right, everybody. I'm going to end this video right here. This was a first. It was a first for us. First time my son was on Foothills Parkway ever. First time having his motorcycle on any kind of curvy road where he had to lean it more than just on regular roads, on the country road. And the first time me and him actually got to ride together. You talking about a, just a great feeling. Everybody, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. Until next time.